What is up guys? We're back with another BIOS video and today we're getting out the BIOS here on the ASRock Z790 Tai Chi motherboard. Now, if you're wondering, how do I get into this BIOS? You know, how do I get to this menu screen? All you have to do is keep on hitting the delete key on your keyboard when you power your system on. So go ahead and just, you know, hit the power button on your computer, then just keep on hitting the delete key, you know, until you see this screen pop up. Now, it's not the backspace, it is the delete key. So again, just keep on hitting that delete key and you'll be dropped in here to the BIOS. Now, this is the easy mode and basically the easy mode has a bunch of settings and things all on one screen, super easy to use. That's why they call it the easy mode. So first we have a listing of our motherboard and the BIOS version that it is running. So we're running BIOS version 4.12, and then we have a listing of our processor, uh, processor speed and total memory. If we come over here, we have a live graph of our CPU temperature, and then we have a listing of our motherboard temperature and CPU voltage our time and dates and everything is right here. We have a tab up here that will take us to advanced mode. You can change your language and you can turn the RGB lighting on the board completely on or off. And then we have discard changes, save and exit, load defaults, and then help and information. If we move down, we have information on our memory. So you can see the memory that we do have installed. And if you want to enable or disable your XMP profile, you just click right here. So by default, it should be on auto. And then just to enable your XMP profile, you just click and it's easily enabled and it'll let you know the profile right there as well. Power settings. And then over here, we do have our boot priority. So boot priority should list all of your hard drives that you do have attached and or attached to the motherboard. And then you can easily drag and drop you know which one you want to be your boot device it's extremely easy to do like i said you just drag and drop and you're good to go there fan status um will list all of the headers or fan headers on the motherboard and then give you a live update of you know the fan speeds of all the fans that you do have connected and then you can change the fan settings here um, by clicking on this it just goes standard high performance full speed and silent um, if you want to easily just change all of the fans at once um, in your system you can do that over here we have storage configuration which is always good to see because sometimes you're like my drive isn't being detected you know what's what's the deal you can see all of your drives that are connected and um you know and what drives they are and everything like that so it's good to see that right there and then over here we just have tools we have instant flash which allows you to easily flash your bios and then we have fantastic tuning and this allows you to really set your fan curves and tune your fans how you want um, in this nice little interface that we have right here and that's pretty much it for the easy mode and i think the easy mode has everything that you're really going to want to set up right you're going to want to enable your xmp profile and you're going to want to set your boot priority and then you just want an overview maybe change some fan settings um, but beyond that, everything is sort of just right here. Now, for those who want to really tune their system or, you know, dive down deep into the settings, we can go to advanced mode. Again, you can just click here or hit F6 on your keyboard. And now we're into advanced mode. So the main screen, um, it just, again, gives us the version of the bus that we're running and information of what we have here. And then we do have my favorites. I haven't added anything to my favorites, but any setting that is in the BIOS, you can go ahead and add to your favorites. So you don't have to go through a bunch of menus to find it. It can just be in your favorites menu. OC Tweaker is we're gonna do all of your system tuning and all of your overclocking. What's nice is you have your targets up here. So all of your target speeds and everything, it's all right here so you can see it. So as you make changes, you can see what your targets are going to be. One thing I really like about ASRock is they sort of organize things in folders so you can see we have all the folders for all the different um settings that we have so under cpu configuration this is going to be all the changes and settings for your cpu all your different p core and e core ratios all that kind of stuff it's all right here you know just super easy to find all the stuff you know intel speed step turbo boost speed shift turbo boost max 3.0 all this stuff your TJ Maxx, your power limits, everything to do with the CPU is in this menu. So you're not gonna have to jump through a ton of menus to find your different settings for your CPU. It's all right here 
in this menu, which is really great. We'll go out of there. DRAM configuration, it's the same thing. Um, you can see your memory information in real time too, if we just click here. So this gives you all of your information on your currently installed memory. And again, um, you can select the slots if you have different memory running. And then your timings, again, you can load your XMP profile here if you want as well. Um, again, you can set it to auto or load the XMP profile and then all of your different frequencies um, and everything like that, your, you know, your primary timings, which are right here, secondary timings, again, everything to do with your memory timings, it's all here. You know, we can go all the way to the bottom here. But again, these are all timings. Um, and then just some advanced settings down here um, that you can set for your memory there as well. Voltage configuration, same thing. Everything to do with your voltages. You can set a voltage mode and then you can change all of your voltages here. Um, you know, and what's kind of nice, especially like load line calibrations, it tells you over here in the description, you know, what each setting does um, if you're unfamiliar. So again, all of your voltage, all your all of your voltages, all your settings for voltages are all right here, which is really nice to see. And then we have our fiber configuration again. Um, you can set all of this stuff up and change it how you would like. Um, but again, it's all organized in these folders, which I really like. Um, again, it just makes it so you don't have to jump through a ton of different folders or uh, menus to, to find the settings. It's, if it's for CPU, it's here. If it's for DRAM, it is here. Move over to advanced, and this is pretty much everything else that is on the board. So CPU configuration will give you information, you know, on your processor, information on your P cores, information on your E cores, um, you know, some of the other settings or CPU specific settings um, are right here, like your C states, uh, thermal throttling, um, things like that, that you can go ahead and enable or disable. Chipset configuration, again, this is everything that's on the chipset. So you can set your primary graphics adapter. You can set your link speeds for your PCI Express slots. You can, you know, um, share your memory. You can turn off your uh, ethernet connections. You can turn on or off your HD audio. You can turn on or off Wi-Fi. Everything that has to do with basically the, anything else that's on the board it is all right here you do have your rgb leds you can turn these on or off as well um and then also all of the other leds that are on the board maybe they annoy you maybe you don't want them you can go ahead and turn those off in here as well which is really nice there storage configuration again this gives you all of the information and settings for each device that you have connected um and again it's like here's our sata drive we can click in and get more information um, and change settings depending on the drive that we have installed. Um, you can see on our Lexar drive, we don't have as many settings as we do for our SATA drive. So again, we have a little bit more settings on the SATA drive there. Um, so again, you can just have all those. And it's, again, it's nice that everything has its own little folder. NVMe configuration, just gives you information on your NVMe device if you have one installed. Thunderbolt, again, Thunderbolt configuration. So everything to do with Thunderbolt is right here. ACPI configuration. Again, you can change these if you would like. USB configuration. Again, just shows you uh, the USB controllers and USB devices that you have installed. And then trusted computing. Now for those who want to enable Intel PTT, this is not where it's at. This is specific information for trusted computing. You don't have to change any of this. It's all set up by default. And then um, the UEFI configuration, again, you can set up your setup style. So if you wanna drop into the um, advanced mode, you can do that by default, it's set to easy mode. And then you can actually set the page that the, um, the BIOS goes into. So, you know, we were on the main here, but you can change that if you want. And then if you want the full HD UEFI, you can change that as well. There are some tools. so. The Polychrome RGB, you can actually go in and set the RGB without having to download ASRock's Polychrome RGB software. You can do it all right here. Um, the only thing is, is that it applies to everything, um, you know. So you can, again, set your different, um, your different setting here or your effects and your speed 
and then you can just apply it. It's pretty simple. Um, you can actually email tech service here if you have connection to the internet. So if you're having an issue, you can email their tech service. And then you have the SSD secure erase and the NVMe sanitation tool. They're both to securely erase your drive. So one's for your SSDs, the other one's for your NVMe drives. And then we have the option for the auto driver installer. So this basically will automatically um, download and install a auto driver installer for all the drivers that you need for your motherboard. If you're not a fan of that, you can disable it here in the BIOS. And then we have instant flash um, as well to easily flash your BIOS and update it to the latest version. Under hardware monitor, um, this is gonna give you a live view of all of your temperatures, your voltages, your fan speeds, everything here is in real time. And then of course we can go down to fantastic tuning, um, same thing that we saw before and tune all of our fans and then different, different settings for the fans. You can go through and change all of these if you want to. Under security, this is where you're gonna enable or disable Intel PTT. Now all of these new BIOSes, it's already enabled by default so you don't have to change it but that setting is right here. And then you can set user password, supervisor password. Um, you can set up secure boot and all of that as well. And then under boot, um, you have your boot options in different boot settings right in here. Again, easy to find everything. And then under exit, we can save our changes. We can discard our changes. We can load defaults. And of course we do have boot override, which is good to see there as well. And I always talk about that because Boot Override makes it super easy to install Windows from a flash drive. And then when it does its reboot, it's not gonna reboot to that flash drive. So you have all of that. Um, everything in this BIOS is really easy to find. I do like that we do have an, uh, an easy mode here as well. For some reason on ASRock uh, AMD boards, we don't have an easy mode. Here we have it, super easy to find um, all of your settings and change everything. Now again, this video is just to show you the different settings within the BIOS. We don't go over things in crazy detail or anything like that. But if you do have any questions about this BIOS, maybe you can't find a certain setting, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up. We'll see you guys in the next video.